Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today and pressing play on the video. Hope you'll enjoy this video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make this card here. It's made using the Above the Clouds stamp set, which is a really lovely two-step stamp set. So you get the, the outlines of the balloons and then the infills, which are sort of graded so that they look like watercoloured. Um, images so um, really really pretty some bunting flags clouds birds all sorts of useful little images there um, 19 stamps all together in that stamp set and it comes in a bundle with the um, above the clouds um, punch which punches out the big balloon and the basket and one of the little bunting flags so if you wanted to make your own bunting you could do that with that triangle so how are we going to make our card? It's a, another tent fold card that stands up. Um, so what we're going to do is take a piece of, a, of card. This was an A4 sheet which measured 11 and oh, let me think. I've just got to find my measurements. I think it's 11 and 7 eighths, something like that. 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and an eighth. I just had a A4 sheet that I cut in half. So I work in centimetres, so it was 21 across. I cut it at 10 and a half. And this length is almost um, 30 centimetres, just a couple of millimetres short of 30 centimetres. And then I um, scored in the middle and got my card blank. And the first thing I need to do for my card is to do my clouds because the card has, can't see what I've done with the card now. There it is card has so it's back to front really I've got white sky with blue clouds but that I tried it with the other way around it just didn't look right so I like it this way around so I'm going to stamp the clouds first of all so I've got a spare scrap of paper because I'm going to stamp off um because I don't want the full intensity of the colour and I need my balmy blue to stamp the clouds could do it in any blue I'm doing it in balmy blue but you could use any blue that you've got as long as it's fairly pale don't really want a bright blue so this is the image with the, the three clouds and it's one of the sort of water coloured images so you don't get a, a, a just a shape you get a very um like, like i said it's a bit water coloured so i'm going to stamp off and then stamp on my card blank like so so stamp off and actually if you stamp a bit stamp off a bit quicker you get a slightly darker so don't linger on the paper because the paper will absorb more ink the longer you stay on it so just and you just carry on until you've completed the whole card blank just as many you can have them as close or as far apart as you like and I'm just moving it to fill in some of the gaps each time and you can see some of the images come out darker, but it doesn't matter. Clouds aren't irregular, all regular shapes, sizes or colours, so it doesn't matter. Just a couple more down here, one there, and then one more over here. Like so. There we go. That's my background done with my clouds. They're very blotchy, but that's the intention. Okay, then I need three balloons. And in my card here, I used Bermuda Bay. Mango Melody and Lovely Lipstick. Today I'm going to change up the colours a little bit. I've already done two of the balloons. I'm going to carry on using Mango Melody. I'm going to use um, Granny Apple Green as well. And then I'm going to do a Blueberry Bushel one for you to show you how to do it. So let's get my Blueberry Bushel um, stamp pad. And a square. These, these cards are really great for using up scraps of Whisper White. You can just punch the balloons out of quite small pieces. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to stamp the outline image of this of the um, stamp of the balloon, like so. And then now with some of the colours, you need to stamp off with this one because you'll get to, it'll be too full on the colour. But actually, I've tried it with blueberry bushel. My blueberry bushel is not terribly inky, so actually, I think this will be fine. But you might find with some of your colours, you need to stamp this off before you stamp this, the image. And sometimes it is easy to actually do this inside before the outside. Just depends. I can't get my head over it, so I hope that's okay. All right, that's that's okay. I've gone off a little bit there. I can't get my head over it because my head needs to be where the, the camera is on the tripod. Um, obviously, when I'm working without it, um, that's not a problem. So then I'm going to come in with my punch and punch that. 
try and line it up a bit like so there we go and then I just need to do the baskets which is this little stamp here which is done in, in memento, black memento ink it's called tuxedo black um, and it's my go-to black at the moment and I'm just going to use a little strip of card off here I only, only need three little baskets so I don't need very much card and I'm just going to stamp one oh that's not a very good one I'll do another one one that's better two three and then we also need to color those in and there's another little filling image for the baskets which is here and I'm going to do that in soft suede there we go so again I need to have my head over the you need to be right directly above when you do this two-step stamping that's not quite central centered there we go that one's all right and that one there we go okay and then those can just punch out you could punch your balloons and your um, baskets out at the same time I tend to do mine separately so that I can just feed it through into there line it up and punch there's one put it in line it up and punch put it in line it up and punch there we go and so now we are just mounting these on our card so bring back in our card blank very quick little card to make this one get rid of all of those so i've put peel offs on the back of those i'm just going to put some i'm um, not peel off some dimensionals and i've got big dimensionals cut in half here um they're really you don't really need a whole one in each of these places so just to be a bit of a thrifty crafter i'm just using half and I've got some little bits there which we'll do for down there. There we go. And then I need a little bit on each of these. So I'm going to cut one of those half ones in half again. It's a quarter of a big one going on there. And you need to put the dimensionals fairly near the bottom of the basket because you need to overlap the um, overlap it with the, the balloon a little bit. So you need the top free with no, nothing blocking it. Can't see to get this one off, there we go. There. And then it's just a case, I didn't put any sentiment or anything on this card, although you could if you wanted to. Um, so we just need to work out where we want the, the balloon. So I did one in Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and then the one that we've just done in um, Blueberry Bushel. Um, so I think they're gonna go about there, that's fine. So I'm going to take off the backing on this one, like so, just make sure I'm still on camera, there we go, oops, okay, so I think my yellow one was up there somewhere, I'm going to take my granny apple green, take off the dimensionals, um, I hope you're all aware that we've got our bonus days um, promotion going on at the minute, which means for every £45 you spend in July, you get an ex you get a voucher for um, £4.50 to spend in August, which means that you know if you spent £90, you'd get £9 to spend in August. So that would cover if you wanted to put in another order in August, that would cover your postage and you'd get a little bit free as well. So really good incentive to shop in July. There we go. And then just the baskets coming. So there's one basket. And like I say, just overlaps with the bottom of the balloon a little bit. So you've got that free bit without a dimensional on, so you can do that. There we go. And the next one. 
and the next one and that's our card done so we've got two cards there very nice little um, just a very simple little card this one but very effective and it'd be really nice for a man's card I think really nice for a men's birthday card you could put a happy birthday greeting up here or possibly down here um, on a little panel or just stamp it straight on in black it would show up if you put it straight on in black I'm going to leave mine blank because I do quite like to have some blank mail cards if I just show you with the other card there we go this one was Bermuda Bay I don't know if that's I can't remember whether I used Mango Melody or Daffodil Delight they're very similar colours it might be Mango Melody and Lovely Lipstick and then this one is Mango Melody Granny Apple Green and um, Blueberry Bushel Hope you've enjoyed my um, video today and that you'll have a go at making this card or maybe even splash out and buy the set if you haven't already. Um, I'll be back with another um, video of a card I've made using that set. So this is my second one and I've got one more to come in this series. Um, so I hope you'll join me for that. Um, should be towards the end of the week. Um, look forward to that and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.